Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emmy here and welcome to my channel Emmy Yell. So today we're going to go straight to it. Today is a video all about Notion and how I use it to be productive at university. So college, university student, that's what I am now. So I'm first year, first year out of my four year degree. So it's going to be a long ride and I've got my laptop here and I'm going to talk about Notion, which is an app I found through TikTok and I really recommend it for everyone and I've been getting my friends and family to use it for their studying. Today I'm just going to go through it, go through my template and share you guys my template down below. So if you guys want to make your own Notion page through my template and how I made it, give it a look below. My template was based on another girl's, which I'll link her YouTube video down below also. But before we go ahead, I just want to say make sure to subscribe down below let's get into it i'm going to screen record my laptop screen so obviously it's here i'm gonna be in a little bubble in the corner so hi if you can see me still but we're just gonna get straight into it motion is this app so just search up on google and you can download it for windows and macbook which obviously i have a macbook so i downloaded it for macbook you can also download it on your phone i believe i haven't because i don't really use my phone in terms of uni like that but yeah you can also just use it on chrome safari if you don't want to download the app but i really recommend downloading the app because you can use it without internet so here's the page that pops up so obviously it is all-in-one workspace blah 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 and to get an account you have to sign up which is easy self-explanatory like I don't need to explain to you guys how to sign up so if you want to download just either go for ISS or Android Mac and Windows so I just went for Notion for Mac and Windows downloaded it for the Mac and followed through the steps and I've got a Notion app now now i'm just gonna talk to you guys about how i've set up my app and how i templated my app before i'm going to tell you guys the logistics of how i use it in terms of my uni line so basically here we go it says emmy notion as you can tell and i've got a picture of myself i know that's self-conceited but i just liked having a photo of myself i don't know because if i share it with someone people know that i made this template as you can see yeah i've got a photo of myself and then i've got the background which i chose these suns which i've been obsessed with recently so don't ask why i've just been obsessed with them and as we scroll down this is the main page of mine as you can tell it says this week i've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday and this is template is based on the girl's I forgot her name but her YouTube video is linked down below so she had it like this and I didn't really want to change it I liked it how it was so she separated into academic personal and events so for example like events I'll be like oh I have as you can see on Monday I said I have a netball at 8pm personal would be like oh today I want to work out and the academic is obviously like I have class from 12 to 2 today for this class make sure to travel to uni blah 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 I made it in a way where you can make it into a to-do list so you can tick it off and it's super easy to take away once you've completed the week you just delete every text that you did easy so for example I can just be like so BMSS 1011 workshop at 12 p.m and if I've done it I just click it it strikes out so it gives you the satisfaction of you actually completing it which I really love at the bottom what I added I added just a little to do list this little to do list I added is like the general the whole week what you want to do so for example if I want to clean my car I'll put it in here because I don't want to sign a specific day to clean my car because it might be raining so I will look at that every day and be like oh okay this week I said I wanted to clean my car so I'm gonna fit it in somehow as you scroll down more I have courses and as you can tell I've got my four courses with the cute little photos but I won't go through them yet I will be patient with me I'll talk about them soon so yeah I have four classes for my course course of the semester so I put them all in and then when I click on it it tells me more information underneath that I have a little music song that I have on my computer I play it it's just cute it's just aesthetic like will I actually play it all the time no but it's there and it's cute and then I have my timetable week one to four I didn't want to print it all out or make it into a calendar because I haven't done that yet and I don't know how to do that or so I'm no help for the calendar version of this I also have these course notes and it's just a little link that takes me to separate course notes that are private so as you can tell I have them over here where my mouse is. so I click on that when I go to my specific notes or I click on the sidebar so now I'm going to talk to you guys about how I do my courses so obviously I go down to my courses and you can see these little boxes and it says plus new so if I want to add another course if I picked up elective or something I'll add it there so for example I will go to my earth atmosphere and environment class as you can tell I just have a schedule of when my class is per week I always have the same class and I scroll down and I 
have a little table for my assignments. This is something I did myself because I thought it was very useful. It's in a little concise little box on my assignments. These are all my assignments for this semester that I need to do. And I have due dates for things that I have a due date. Something I found was very good to help me understand what these certain things are is I have a little note side also on the table and this tells me what is this certain assignment. This is my biomedical chemistry. This has more information. So again, I have these assignments as you can tell. As you scroll down, I have this schedule as well in a concise format. And this is likewise for my other class where I have my um, assignments and I have it all in a screenshot picture of when I have a specific lab classes and when I need to watch these specific lectures every week. I'm going to go and share you guys how I take my notes on Notion, obviously because Notion has notes in it, I guess. Anyway, so as I scroll down, I have course notes. So I have my EAE class, ATS class, blah, 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 blah. So I just want to show you my biomedical 101 class just randomly. I don't know why, but as you can tell, it takes me to a page. It has it in little blocks where each section is a week worth of notes. So as you can tell, I have week one, week two, week three. So for example, I click on week one and it tells me the day I created it and I can add tags and stuff. But all I did was take the notes. If you scroll through, I have pictures, things highlighted, bolded. I highlight what the lesson is called, but I also highlight the ideas and dot point. So I'm really proud of my notes. So I'm just showing you guys, this is like one of the subjects that I really am proud of my notes. And I just, it's very concise, clear. The photos help a lot. It's easier to input photos in Notion than it is to a Word document. So this is why I really love Notion. And if I ever need to find a certain definition, I just press Control F on my Mac and search up cell or something and it shows me the matches in the little folder, not the whole Notion folder. So that's really good and really helpful. So now we're going to go back to the start and I'm going to tell you guys how to customize your own Notion because trust me, you guys need it. It is the best thing in the world. Changing these covers are really easy. You can just press change cover as you can see. They have a gallery, you can upload, you can link. How I found all my photos was through Pinterest. So I can link my Pinterest up here. So check it out. I have a couple pages of cute photos that you can use. I just paste the image link and press submit and it's so easy. It just puts it straight away. So you don't have to actually download the image onto your computer and waste your storage. Again, that's the same for the icons. So icons, you can use emojis. So for example, if it's a science class or something, you can use the science emoji or something. But again, you can upload an image or link an image super easy changing colors are really easy so for example if you want to change the color of this color block that says this week you just click on it just change the dbc 5a9 to a different color index i think that's what it's called paste it in that bracket and it will change it to any color again for this photo you can change it you can delete it if you don't want it stuff like that super easy again you can change the color of these blocks easy so for all these academic ones you just want to press color and then background and it just has these different color backgrounds so just choose one how i organize different photos for example my yay little block thing so again you can change cover by using gallery upload or link again i said i use the image link for my pinterest photos it's super easy just assignment so if i have my template i think it pops up with my own assignments so don't stalk my university, please. <laughs> it's easy. You just change the name. Just click on the box, change the name. Click on the due date. Just click a different due date. You can do a reminder. So Notion can actually give you reminders. Change the end date and you can actually include a time when it's due. So here we go. It's a new page for my biomedical chemistry. It's entitled page, so I'm gonna call it week four because I haven't done week four yet. So if I wanna have a title like I do, I just press command B on the Mac and then type it in bold, easy. And if you guys wanna highlight it, super easy. So what do you wanna click is these little six dots on the side click on it and then color and then have a pink background which is what i normally do so an easy way is just command shift to h or you can just specifically click one so green or something like that the dot points i just use you use a slash and it turns into a dot point arrow slash and the triangle thing turns into an arrow or you can do the equal button and an arrow it turns into that arrow it's, i want to show you some of the other features that you can use you can have it turn into anything so you can have text 
you can do actually headings and stuff which I didn't know till recently and I just can't stop changing all my notes to heading. You can create another sub page into a page so that's what I did in my first page that I have. So for example I can click on page and then it takes me to a different page and I can just go backwards. You can make it into a to-do list, super easy, bulleted list, number list or a toggle list this is what I've seen many people use. So this is a toggle list and then you just do it and then you can list it. You just press the toggle button and it hides it, which is very useful in the scheme of things if you don't want to scroll through the long as page like I do. You can do coding here. Again, I'm not good at coding, so I'm not going to talk about the coding side of things. You can add a quote, which is like really cute. It has like a little black bar at the end and it's just adorable. You can do a little call out so this makes writing stand out. So it's like here. It has a little picture of a light globe, but again, you can click on it and change it to any emoji you want. And you can also have a block equation. So this is like have a math subject. It's really easy to take math notes on this too. That is the general thing you can do on Notion and i have seen many people on notion do things for like habit trackers sleep trackers movies to watch books to read stuff like that obviously i haven't done that in my notion because my notion is strictly academic based and for my uni it is not for my life and stuff i have my own little planner which i fill it in by myself this is up to you again i'm gonna link more videos down below for like the girls that did habit trackers and stuff i started off notion using one of those but i just found it not useful I never went on it. I never used it. I never used habit trackers and stuff. Yeah, so that is my notion for you guys. I hope you guys have an idea of how to use notion now general idea of how i'm using notion i hope it was helpful if it was i've got my template down below and i've got other people's youtube videos down below so just check them out hope you guys are having a good time and having fun with your studies but yeah that's the end of my video thank you for watching this all through if you're here Again, make sure to subscribe down below because a lot of school related, university related videos are coming out and I hope you guys are doing amazing and keep on smiling. Catch you guys later. Have fun with Notion. See ya.